Yep, that's none other than the petulant teen Greta Thunberg being carried away from her latest protest. Look at those vultures in the legacy media. Their patron saint is being persecuted. Wait until you find out what she's protesting now. It not only exposes her for what she really is, it's a masterclass on precisely why the worldwide left is imploding as we speak. You are not going to want to miss this. What do you think about shutting down the Norwegian state? They should have seen it coming uh, for violating uh, human rights. Greta Thunberg is in the news once again. She was briefly detained by Norwegian police during a demonstration in Oslo. What was she protesting against, you may ask? Well, if you could believe it, she was actually protesting wind farms. Now, you probably know that wind farms are basically the heart of green energy, and we were always led to believe that Greta is not merely a climate activist, she is actually the patron saint of green energy. So how on earth can the patron saint of all things green be protesting against wind farms, you ask? Well, she's taken up a new cause. She is now an advocate for the Sami people, an indigenous people group in Norway. And as it turns out, the Norwegian Supreme Court about a year ago ruled against the use of the wind turbines in the Fosen region of western Norway where Sami families practice their culture of reindeer husbandry. However, the Norwegian government has yet to enforce that ruling. So Greta and her human rights cohort are protesting the continued operation of wind farms on this indigenous people's land. Now, if your cynicism radar happens to suspect that this is nothing more than an attention-seeking stunt on the part of Greta, you're not alone. One of the reasons why you saw those vultures in the media surround her is precisely because she is the creation of the media. We did a video exposing that years ago. Greta Thunberg is the intentional, deliberate fabrication of the worldwide legacy media. The Daily Caller originally broke the story back in November 2019 when members of the global media gathered at Columbia University's School of Journalism to collaborate on how they would cover the so-called climate crisis leading up to that year's United Nations Climate Conference. According to the Daily Caller, over 250 news outlets and journalists partnered with Columbia University School of Journalism to intentionally shape and control the narrative for what they considered to be a global climate crisis. And as the Daily Caller notes, this coordinated activism among the legacy media intentionally fabricated a hero, a megastar, a saint to carry their message of climate alarmism to the masses. And that, of course, was none other than the then 16-year-old Swedish climate activist named Greta Thunberg. You see, the whole purpose of lionizing Greta was to galvanize American support for the radical policies being advocated by environmental activists, which, of course, means that we're not looking at news we're staring straight in the face of blatant left-wing environmentalist propaganda. And it all climax with Greta getting Time Magazine's Person of the Year. However, Greta appears to be the victim of her own success. You see, the world has changed dramatically since her infamous How Dare You speech at the UN Climate Conference in 2019. The problem for the Greta cult, of course, is that Europe has largely adopted what St. Greta has been advocating these last few years. In fact... Much of the world took Greta's advice, particularly Sri Lanka. They turned their backs on fossil fuels, manufactured fertilizers and the like. And now, of course, Sri Lanka in particular, their world has fallen apart. Europe, as we speak, is going through a cost of living crisis, the likes of which they haven't seen in decades. So now... Starving for that attention she's apparently become addicted to, but also recognizing that green energy ain't as popular as it used to be given the cost of living crisis. Greta's now protesting, if you can believe it, she's now protesting the very green energy that she originally advocated. I mean, gang, you can't make this stuff up. Well, maybe you can. Certainly the media has been doing precisely that with St. Greta. But seriously. She's taken up a new cause, the cause of indigenous people's rights. And that cause of indigenous people's rights has pitted Greta 
against the very environmental and green energy endeavors that she herself publicly demanded. Now, this is, to me, it's so key in understanding why the worldwide left is imploding. It's precisely because the modern woke leftists entail their own defeat. Actually, scholars are calling this a performative contradiction. The left is inescapably self-defeating, and that self-negation is destroying them. It has to. It inevitably causes them to war against themselves, and Gretas is showing us precisely how. You're going to love this. But first, gang, make sure to click on that link below. Protect yourself from our current economic insanity with the timeless value of gold and silver. You know, patriots of the centuries, we have always relied on gold and silver to protect our assets during economic storms. And that's where the amazing patriots over at Gold Co. come in. If you've got $50,000 or more in an IRA, 401k, or savings account, you need to protect those assets from bumbling Biden's insanity with the timeless value of gold and silver. Click on that link below. Talk to our good friends over at Gold Co. They want you to succeed so much. They're offering up to $10,000 in free silver if you open up an account with them. But this is a limited time offer. So don't wait. Click on that link below or visit my special website, TurleyTalksLikesGold.com. The key to understanding why the left is imploding is understanding the nature of what we commonly refer to as identity politics. Scholars do indeed include environmentalism as part of identity politics, as part of the group to which one self-consciously belongs. The key to understanding identity politics is how they divide up Western society into two fundamental identities, two fundamental groups of people, a victimizer group and a victim group, an oppressor and an oppressed. The oppressor group is assumed to be monolithic. So in our case, The oppressor group is made up of white male Christians. The oppressed group is a coalition of minority identities who together ultimately create a majority, a majority of minorities, as it were, whose ultimate goal is to overthrow the majority in terms of who has ultimate political power. The key here is that what binds these various identities together into a single political coalition is their shared victimhood. They're all victims of some kind of political and social oppression. So you have this appearance of unity that lasts for a time, especially when the cameras of the fawning legacy media are all around you. But what's the long-term problem with all of this? The problem is that, as it turns out, each of these identities actually have competing political interests. We saw this most explicitly of late in Dearborn, Michigan. This was the scene some weeks back at a local school board meeting. Dearborn happens to be the most densely Muslim populated area in the United States. And when these parents got word of books involving explicit LGBT content being given to their kids, this was the result. Now, keep in mind, this was happening in one of the bluest of the blue districts in the nation. Dearborn votes 70% Democrat. And this district that votes 70% Democrat is rising up and pushing back against one of the other major constituencies of the Democratic Party. And that, of course, in this case, is the LGBT community. And this is exactly what's happening with Greta. Greta simply found a new cause indigenous people's advocacy. But that new cause is now pinning her against her old cause, green energy. This is the inherent contradiction at the heart of woke identity politics. Identity politics assembles a coalition of the aggrieved together who inevitably act on competing political interests. And so identity politics ultimately dies of its own inherent polarization and balkanization. So thank you, Greta, for this masterclass in the futility of woke leftism. We've learned a lot. Now you really can just go away. (laughs) As always, make sure to smack that bell and subscribe button. You'll definitely want to check out my latest video on woke leftists freaking out over a new mega prison that's crushing crime in what once was the murder capital of the world. You are going to love this. So make sure to click on that link and I'll see you over there. 
God bless.